Hey, year 10. How's it going, guys? Can you believe that Audra just called me Mr. Cohen? Can you believe this? I am I am in awe. I'm in awe of Audrey. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, it is very disappointing. How things just arrived? Still missing Libby. Still missing Tip and Kayla. Where is everybody? Uh, it is very disappointing. There's Tiff. Tiff's in the house. Still missing Kayla and Libby. Last ones to arrive. Hi, Tiff. Libby and Kayla missing. Our Mark and Kayla is absent. Our Mark and Libby is absent. <coughs> Can't believe they'd be late. Shocking. Shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Right. Okay, folks. Let's crack on. So the first thing we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to go through the homework. And then I think I'm just... Oh, Libby. Thanks, Libby. God. Okay, just Kayla missing. Fine. Right, let's share screen and crack on with the homework review. I'm actually... Soz, I'm late. Ooh. Right. Let's do this. Okay, guys. Here's your homework. So you actually had two homeworks to do. I apologize about that. I hope you had a chance. If you haven't had a chance at doing organics too yet, Mr. Duncan, do you know where our chem class will be when we get back? Um, the rooms are all different. I will let you know where they're going to be, Dom. I do actually know, and I've updated my calendar. <coughs> um, I assume that you guys will get an updated one as well, but I do know. So if you can't find it, you can always message me, and I'll be able to tell you. Okay. Right. So I'm kind of hoping that you guys had a look at the other webinar video. It, it means that you'll get this twice for the first homework, and then the, the this will be no practicals. I know. I'm sorry, Lara. Uh, yeah, so homework one, I will go through now, and then I'll go through homework two. Okay, now my task here today is to try and beat Hao Ping, because he picked up on a couple of errors last time I was doing this. <laughs> so key things, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's called a build ladder. So a build ladder for organics just allows you to put everything together without getting too lost. So when I have, whenever I get an organic name in an exam, the first thing I will do, of course, you guys know the rules now, find the longest chain. Now, I could have gone for that one as my longest chain. Alternatively, I could have gone for that. It makes no difference. Yeah, it actually doesn't matter. Having bends and stuff doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to choose the straight one to make it easier. So this is based on one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is based on a hex. The next thing, is there any single or double bonds in that? And the answer is no, they're all single. So this is based on a hexane. That's your main stem name. The next thing is I've numbered it. Notice I've numbered it in this direction. I'd never number it from this direction because I want the branch to be on the lowest number possible. So this is, the branch is now a two methyl. So there's my build ladder complete. All I have to do now is put them together. Final answer. 2 methyl. There's a dash between numbers and letters. No gaps between letters. 2 methyl hexane. Take it if you got it. Next. Okay, next one. So this one's got no branches, which is nice. It's based on a butte. It's based on a butt. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty small butt, though. <laughs> um, so it's based on a butt, but it does contain a double bond. Yeah, so if it contains a double bond, and I need to make that double bond the lowest number, so I'm going to count from this direction. So it is now a one ene. Now, you always take the lowest number. The ene is between carbons one and two. Yeah, but you always go for the lowest number. Oh, <laughs> see what I've done there? Oh, oh, that's funny. I can even make him into Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm losing my marbles. So this is butte one ene. Take it if you got it. Nice and easy. Next one, build ladder. It's a butt again. It's a butt. But this time, no double bonds anywhere. No branches. So this is butane. Nice and easy. Yeah. Next one was a trap. I wonder how many people fell for it. Yeah. The longest chain is there. Yeah. The fact that it has a bend in it makes absolutely no difference. It was it was a trap on EdXL. Do love this one. So this is a but. The next thing is it does contain a double bond. So it's an ene, but I need to 
number the cardons. Yeah, I could have gone in the other direction. It would have made no difference in this case. There would still have been a number two no matter what I had done. So it makes no difference which way I go. So I go for the lowest number. This is Butte 2 in ticket if you got it. Next, they're going to get harder as we go through. Right, next one, build ladder. Find your longest chain. So it's a three. Yeah, so it's a probe. Yeah, it's a probe. Next thing, ain or in. Well, it's an ain. Do you put Z? No. Oh, oh. Wow, Dom. How did you know about that? It is actually a Z. Um, I do want to just talk about this one for a minute. I'm skipping through really quick and I'm just, what I wanted to do is, there were times, I'm um, going back to number three. Um, or is this number four? Number four. So number four is an absolute mess. Yeah, this is an absolute mess, this one. The reason being is this has been drawn by an idiot. Yeah. Uh, the reason being is, just have a quick look. It's easy to, to miss this, isn't it? Look at this carbon here. Can anyone on the chat please spot what's wrong with it? I love that. Zach, well done. Zach has spotted, LOL. Yeah, the bonding here is messed up. The bonding is messed up. That carbon, of course, in yellow is a problem. Yeah, so in yellow, the yellow issue is that that carbon only has three, only three bonds. So that one there is wrong. Yeah, and then also this carbon here. So the red one, this carbon here has five. They've gone totally mad. Totally mad. And it's, by the way, it's super easy to do. All that's happened is that they've just not counted as, as they've drawn it. The internet is a great resource, but it doesn't half have some garbage chemistry. I actually chose that one particularly because when I saw it, I saw all the problems and was like, ugh. Yeah. And, and so, problem there, of course, uh, they haven't counted any of their bonds. So, loads of mistakes. <clears throat> you guys are going to have a go at drawing your own uh, for homework, so it's going to be fun, that. Let's go back to number five. So it is a pro. It is also an ain, and it has a branch. Now, the branch, it doesn't matter which way I count from. If I count that way, it's a two. If I count this way, it's a two, so it makes no difference. So as a build ladder, this becomes two methyl. Yeah, put them all together. Final answer, two methyl. Propane, propane. That's a uh, that's that's two metal propane. That's 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 the name in Italian. Okay, next one. Lol. Uh, the next one. Five carbons in the chain. I could have gone for this chain if I'd liked. Makes no difference. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference to the name. So this is based on a hex. The next thing is it does indeed have a double bond. Now this is coolest because now I'm going to number it. But I'm going to number it like this. And what you suddenly realize is, if I'd gone in the other direction, the numbers are the same for the Ean. I would have got three and three based on the Ean's position. However, I have a branch. What that means is, I want if, if the Ean is the same no matter what I do, then what I want to do is try and make the, the, the branch as low as possible as well. So I'm actually going to choose these numbers here. These are the correct numbers. So this is hex 3 in, and I have a branch on number 2, so it's a 2-methyl. Now I just need to put them all together. So this is 2-methyl, two 2-methyl, two hex 3 in. It would have been different if the in had been in a different place, because the in takes priority. Right, next. Okay, longest chain. I'm gonna choose a different one now, just you know, just for fun, because I can. There's my longest chain. I actually could have gone for the straight chain as well, would have made absolutely no difference. Yeah. So let's just do this one with a bent bent main chain. So I've got I've got one, two, three, four, five. This is based on a pent. There are no double bonds anywhere, so it's an ain. And I have a branch on these two. I need to make them as low as possible. If I number it from this direction, it'll be a 2-3 dimethyl. If I number it from the other way, it would be a 3-4 dimethyl. So I'm going to go for the 1, the 2-3, because it's lower than the 1-2. Uh, sorry, lower than the 3 and 4. So I'm actually going to number it in this direction. 
Now, when you have two of them, I've got two of the same branch. So this is a dimethyl. You don't put methyl, methyl, you just say di. And if you have a di, then you have two numbers. So this is a two comma three dash dimethyl. Dimethyl pentane, put it all together. So this is two comma three dash dimethyl, dimethyl pentane. Take it if you got it. Dick. Next. Right, this is one where <clears throat> the yin takes priority. Longest chain. Let's actually do the longest chain this way, just for fun. You know, this is just me messing around, really. Makes no difference. So this is based on a butte. It's another lovely butte. This is a beauty. <laughs> beauty. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now, the double bond is the most important of the two things. So this is a branch and this is the double. Well, we always want to make the double as low as possible. So we're going to go in this direction. So it's a butyl-1-ene and it's a 3-methyl. There we go. Just piece it together at the end. So this becomes 3. Oh, going through this now, I realize that I am much worse than I thought. Oh, no. Aha! Atia. Don't worry, this is A-level chemistry. This is not GCSE. Yeah, this is A-level, but it's just really nice to get you guys to do this. Yeah, the more practice you do, the better you'll get out of you. So don't worry. Loads and loads of practice coming your way. Right, next. By the way, 3 myth I'll be wanting to get if you got it. Next. Right. So longest chain. I'm going to go for the straight one. I could have gone, ah. I could have gone for that. Or I could have gone for that. Or I could have gone for that. It doesn't make any difference which direction I go. As long as I make sure I'm getting the longest chain, I'm just going to go for the straight one because it's easy. Yeah. This is based on six. It's a hex. Next, there's no double bonds anywhere, so it's an ane. The next thing, I've got a dimethyl here. So this, now I need to number it. Now, if I number it from this direction... If I number it from that direction, it would be a 5,5 five dimethyl. A uh, 5,5 five and then a 3 ethyl. Well, 5,5,3 five, five, is much larger than 2,2,4. Two, two, so 2,2,4 two, two, is going to be the correct route to go. So I'm going to go for this one. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a 6. So the dimethyl is a 2,2,4. Two, two, uh, oh, no, I'm 30 seconds behind. That's okay, too. Why is it 3-methyl? It's a 3-methyl because you have two things to number. Oh, wait, Tiffy's figuring it out. Yeah, okay. So ranked priority is the ene. So this is a 2-2-dimethyl, 2-2-dimethyl. And then I've got another branch as well, and that's an ethyl branch on number four. So this is a 4-ethyl this is why the build ladder is really useful. Now all it needs to do is put them together alphabetically. Now this is a rule you haven't picked up yet. You actually ignore the die. Whenever you do alphabetical, you have to do it via the names. So this is an ene. This is an eth and a meth. Now the eth, of course, comes first because the D is ignored. You don't know that new rule for you. Yeah, so this becomes, the eth comes for four ethyl, four ethyl, 2,2 dimethyl because the M is what I'm actually using as my alphabetical letter. Yeah. And then hexane and I'm done. Yeah, you'll get better, don't worry. It's meant to be hard. It's all, all challenges. Right, this one's a trap, of course. Longest chain is that one. It's all a trap, isn't that clever? A lot of people are going to think it's a diethyl. It's not. It's just part of the longest chain. So... There's two branches, two branches that are low down on this end of the molecule. So I'm going to number it from that direction. It kind of stands out it's easier to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is based on a non. Yeah. And then it, all single bonds. So it's a non ane. Now I've got a methyl, I've got a four methyl. 4-methyl and a 5-ethyl. Yeah, the ethyl, of course, goes first alphabetically because these guys have the same ranking because they're both alkyl branches. So this now becomes 5-ethyl, 4-methyl, 
for Methyl Nonine. There's your final answer. Take it if you got it. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. Right, next one's actually easier than that one. It's based on a five. So this is where I need to find myself a new place to do my build ladder. It's based on a five, which is a pent. The next thing is they're all single bonds. So this is a pent ain. The next thing is I've got three methyl branches. Yeah, so this is actually a trimethyl. That's cool, isn't it? Trimethyl. But I now need to number them. And they're on carbons number. I've got a, there's two, two, four. If there's tri, there's three numbers. Yeah. So two, two, four. If I'd gone from the other direction, what would it have been? If I'd gone from the other direction, it would have been, it would have been two, four, four. Now, 224 is lower than 244, so I always go for that one as my rule. So I need 224. So 2, this is where I can't fit it in, 2, comma, 2, comma, 4. Put them all together. 2, 2, 4, trimethyl, trimethyl pentane ticket. If you've got it, to hook. Next. Once again, another clever little tail on this one yeah stupid laptops just not as fast as i am so this one's part of the longest chain it's not a branch i've got four branches now that's kind of cool now this one's awkward gonna have to check the numbers carefully on this one yeah so first of all if i number it in this direction number it in this direction so it's based on oct the next thing it's all single bonds these are all single bonds so it's based on octane the next thing is I've got four branches. This is a tetra. Uh, would it still be correct to write 244? No, it wouldn't be, Amani. It, it would always be 224. It, you'd get it wrong at A level. I mean, at GCSE, they're not going to ask you to number any branches. So I'm just, I'm, as I said, this is I'm teaching you A level, Amani. I may as well just do it properly. So if I did the number system in that direction, it would be a 3, 4, 5, 5 tetra. So this is a tetramethyl, that's cool. Tetra in chemistry means four. So three, four, five, five. But if I went in the other direction, which I'll do in a different color, I'll do it in red. Wait, what, wait, what we don't even need to number in GCSE. That's correct, Dom. I know, right? So at GCSE, Dom, since you've mentioned it, the GCSE example that you're always going to see is this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll add my sticks on. Always got to have your sticks. Yeah, there's, uh, and then they're going to give you this one. Yeah. Now, these are, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys what's called isomerism. It's what these are. These are isomers. Um, and in GCSE, here's the best bit. GCSE, this is butene. In GCSE, this is butene. <laughs> I hate GCSE. Those do a GCSE. Yeah, but in A level, in A level, of course, this is but two in. By the way, just to let you know, it is a Z if you really want it. The reason being is the H's are on the same side. But this one doesn't show geometrical. This one's but one in. Just to tell you, by the way, that this here, this this letter here comes in AS unit two, not unit one. Just to let you know, it's just nice to do it, innit? Innit, innit, lads. Oh, I think I remember isomer is like the same molecular, but not the same structural. Yes, Atia, well done. Same molecular formula, but different structural formula. Correct. Yeah, spot on. What about E? Uh, there is a third. Okay. Ah, oh, Dom. There is another but two E. This is AS unit two. And that's that one. But just ignore that. That's re I'm re I'm pushing you guys hard enough already. Yeah, and I'm not even teaching that properly. I'd have to teach you Carningold Prelog to be able to properly do that. If that's correct, I feel proud that I actually remembered something. Atia, you're doing great. <clears throat> uh, anyway, is that like cis and trans? Yes, Libby, it is. EZ's better than cis and trans. Cis and trans is old school, uh, based on like groups whereas ez is is takes into account both like and dislike groups uh oh you've done it now you've proper done it now guys stop doing this to me you see right if i look at this yeah there's two versions of this 
Uh, we could all sit there. With, you could also do this. Just flip one of the sides over. That's not the same. Yeah. Cis and trans, Libby, can't tell the difference between those two. Yeah. Cis and trans, cis slash trans. No, can't do it. Please, this is already complicated enough for me. I know, right? Yeah. In fact, just to let you know, it goes on, uh, it goes on atomic number. So fluorine is a nine, bromine is 35. So that's heavy and that's light. Iodine is massive at something I can't remember, like 53. Chlorine is 17. That's heavy and that's light. So that's the Z version because the two heavies are on the same side. Whereas this one's now 53 and 9 and then 35 and 17. And that's heavy and that's heavy and they're on opposite sides. So that's, that's an E. It's an E because they're on the opposite sides. Lol. Let's move on. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's AS unit two. I'm not trying to do AS unit two, just unit one. So let's put these together. The other option, of course, the other option I had with this, which I was trying to do before, which is if I'd numbered them in the other direction, one, two, three, four, five, and six, it would have been a four, four, five, six. And that's bigger than that number. So I don't use it. Yeah, and use the smallest. That's the correct one. Put it together to give you the final name. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so there's only E and Z. Yes, that's correct. Or are there more? No, that's it. Um, yeah. Uh, three, four, five, five. Tetra, tetramethyl, tetramethyl. Octane, and there's my final answer. Ticket if you got it. Don't worry, it gets it gets easier the more you do this, folks. Don't worry. Okay, next one. Right. So find your longest chain. You can do that one if you like. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I'll use the straight. Why not? And the in takes preference. Yeah. So this becomes a pent, and it is an in, and it has the in, and the in is the most important part here. So it's pent one in. And I have a four methyl, four methyl, which is there, it's on carbon number four. Just put them together, four methyl, four methyl pent one in is your final answer. Next, right, this one's much easier, nice and easy one. Four in a row, could have gone up or down at the end if I'd wanted, makes absolutely no difference. Branch and branch. So it's based on a butt, yeah, it's based on a butte. And we're going to count it from this direction, yeah. And it's a di. This is all. It's no. There's no. There's all single bonds. So this is an ane. And then I have a dimethyl. And my numbers, of course, I'd go in this direction to give me the two comma two, because otherwise it'd be three comma three. So final answer: two comma two dimethyl butane. Butane. There we go. Take it if you got it, folks. Next, end of the first sheet. Or is it the second sheet? Don't know. Four in a row. Could have gone up or down. I could have done this if you preferred. If anybody's in, I mean, I don't always like doing this. You can go that way if you prefer. Makes absolutely no difference to the name. It's still going to come out in the wash. If we go for the yellow, we still have, we still have butte. It's still a butte. Yeah. And this one, of course, is all single bonds. Yeah. So it's still an ane. And I have. And I have the methyls on carbon number two and carbon number three. There we go. So this is a two comma three dimethyl butane. So two comma three dimethyl dimethyl butane. I like it. Lots of butanes making an appearance today. Took it if you got it. Right now we're dropping into our cyclos. Ooh, it's exciting. So we've got four carbons in a row. Longest in the cycle, four carbons. So this is based on a but as well. So this is also a but. Is there any double bonds? Single, 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 single. It's based on butane. Now it's in a circle, which means it becomes cyclo. So this is now cyclobutane. And there's no branches. We're done. This is cyclobutane.
The cyclo, by the way, will always go before the main stem, just so you know. It doesn't go anywhere else. The next one, this was a print error. That's a single bond there, by the way. Um, if you did it as a double, it's fine. But anyway, Mr. Duncan, do we need, do we do triple bonds in A-level? I'm sorry, it's not called triple bond, but I forgot the name of it. Dom, no, you don't. Uh, awkwardly, it's really annoying. Yeah, this is, this is your triple bond. Yeah. So this is based on an ETH. We've got two carbons. Yeah. So it's based on an ETH, but then it has a triple bond. And triple bonds are ions. Yeah. So this is ethine, the alkyne group. I love the fact that Lara's called it alkyne. I love a good bit of alkyne. It's amazing. Yeah, that's alkynes. No, amazingly, the alkynes are dead. They do ask it every now and again at A-level to draw them, but not name them. Go figure. I don't quite understand why. It's not particularly complicated. Go figure. Don't know why. So this one is six in a row. This is six in a row. Yeah, in a circle. So this is cyclo immediately. There's six of them. It's a hex. They're all carbon-carbon single bonds, so it's based on an ain. There's no branches. I am done. Ticket. Alkyne. Amani. Lol. Right. Three in a circle. Yeah, three in a circle. It's based on cyclopropane. It's immediately what I do, you see. Cyclopropane. Cyclopropane. Oh, I love a good, I love a good. I love a good halo alkane. Oh, I love a good cycloalkane in Yorkshire. It's very nice. So we got cyclopropane. Just sounds really lovely. And then we got a methyl branch. Going to number that on number one. Just going to call that number one because again, can can't, can't name it anywhere I like really. Just want to make it low. So I've got a one methyl. Yeah. So one methyl, one methyl, cyclopropane. There we go. The next one. The next one is another three. It's another three in a row. There we go. So if it's another cyclopropane, I'm not very good at the Welsh accent. Cyclopropane. I don't know how they even talk. I don't know how they do that. But I've now got two branches. Ooh, ooh, it's a dime fire. Now, I need to number this. The great thing is I can number it in either direction. I can either go one, two, three, which gives me a one, two, or I can go one, two, three, which gives me a one and a two. So it makes no difference. Amazing. One, two, dimethylcyclopropane. One, two. One, two, dimethylcyclopropane. Propane. There we go. Next. Right, this one's now dropped into what's called skeletal. I don't know whether this, if you haven't watched my webinar from the other class, this will be the first time you've seen this. This is called a skeletal diagram. This is where you only show the carbon chain. At each kink is a carbon. It's a very kinky diagram. Yeah, each kink shows a carbon. So in this particular case, we've got six in a, six in a circle. So this is based on cyclo. It's based on cyclohex. Now it has an alkene in it. Now you always make the alkene as low as possible. It takes ranking over the branch. And here's the next trick. Whenever you do an ene, you must count over it. Yeah. The reason being is if you if you counted in this direction, yeah, it would be a one six. You can't do that. That literally isn't allowed. So what you need to do is you simply count over the double bond. So it becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So this, because it has to be between one and two, yeah? So this is cyclohex one ene And now we've got a methyl branch. This is methyl, and it's on carbon number three. It's a three methyl. Put it all together, yeah? Three methyl, three methyl cyclohex one ene how fun is that? Next, this one's easier. So this one, of course, once again, same thing. It's amazing how different you can get them. I've got six in a row, six in a circle. So this is based on cyclohex. They're all single bonds. I can't see any doubles, so it's going to be an ane. And I've got two branches. Each end is a carbon. So this is now a dimethyl. 
And the great thing is I can number it wherever I like, and I'm going to make that one, of course, number one. This is a one, one. Final answer, one, one, dimethyl, dimethyl cyclohexane. Next. Right, this one's an isomer of it. All I've done is moved one of the methyl branches. So in this case, it's still, in a, I, that was terrible. I've no idea what I just did there. It's still in a circle and still six. So it is still based on cyclohex. Once again, no double bonds, so it's an ane. But now I've got a branches in two different locations. I'm going to number it in this particular direction now. It makes no difference if I start from him as long as I go towards the other one. One, two, three. It makes no difference which way round I go. Yeah, but it's going to be a one, three dimethyl. Right, put them all together. So this is one, three dimethyl dimethyl cyclohexane there we go last one for this homework i like it <clears throat> so i've got five in a circle yeah i've got five so it's a cyclo but it's a pent any double bonds can't see any so it's an a that makes things easier i've got two branches i'm going to number it in this direction this time just for fun so this is a one three dimethyl one three dimethyl put them all together one three dimethyl cyclo pentane you'll get better the more you do okay that brings us to the end of the first homework this homework is out of 23 if you guys could do me a favor and fill in your sheet uh See if I can track down your sheet so we can see it. <coughs> the first homework is out of 23. Now, guys, don't worry. We're going to be doing this for the rest of the year, really. I'm doing it just because it's fun. And I want to you know what? It's so nice to show you guys what A-level really looks like. I mean, that's genuinely something that I see as value. Yeah, you, this is it. At the end of this, if you're really thinking that, you know, wow, I'm really, really struggling really think this isn't for me, then it gives you an insight into whether or not you'll enjoy A-level chemistry or not. Cool. So you can fill in your data, folks. There you go. I wonder if my laptop's running full pelt. It is. Well done. Great job. Who just got 22? <laughs> Guys, I'm really impressed. That's really good. How pink, 22. Well done. Uh, is that Lara? Lara, 22. Well done. Superb. Amani, 21. Outs. Standing, super impressed. Atia, 12, don't worry, Atia. It'll get easier, don't worry. The more you do these, the easier they become. It's just a game. It's more interesting than GCSE as well. It is more interesting than GCSE. You're absolutely right, Dom. And it's a challenge. And you know what? Guys, if I didn't think you guys could do this, I wouldn't be teaching it to you. Please know that this is me giving you an, a massive compliment. You guys are some of the best chemists I have ever taught, and you guys have done so well. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you, you guys are doing great. Super proud of this. this is A level chemistry I'm teaching you, not GCSE. You're doing amazing. Yeah, this is a massive compliment. You guys are doing amazing. Yeah, <clears throat> you're the first year tens I've ever gone this far with. Just really nice. Right, guys, on to homework number two. Okay. So homework number two, I didn't number it properly. I was meant to put homework two. I'm sorry that I didn't. I've changed it now, modified it. Right, so this one we're now going to start to see skeletal appearing. We've seen a halo and an alcohol appearing. Oh, very nice. I like that. Oh, the last one is a challenge question. Yeah, and I'm going to give you the mark there for the last one, even if you get it wrong. As long as it's uh, the mistake I know you're going to make, uh, I'll give you that mark. I'll show you why. So on to homework number two. Just nice for me to check that. You're doing great, guys, on the results. Well done. I am still missing Zach's. I'm still missing Lynn's. Still missing Caitlin's. Missing Mel's orders and Kayla's. That's okay. Okay, right. Let's move on to the next one, guys. <clears throat> so this one is only 22. <laughs> okay. So first thing, this is skeletal. LOL. Benzene. Ah. Sup, Ben. <laughs> Oh, hello, Ben. Ben's not usually in this one. It's nice to see you, Ben. Good to see you. 
Um, right, so this is skeletal. At each kink is a carbon. Yeah. So at this stage, we now go, right, so longest chain, and I need to incorporate my e, my in. I could go up like that if I wanted, but of course, I'm just going to keep it straight, make it simple. <laughs> Benzene. Uh, uh. So this is a pent. Yeah, this is based on a pent. The next thing is it contains a double bond. We need to make that as low as possible. One, two, three, four, five. It's between carbons number two and three. So this is a pent two in. And I have a branch, which is a methyl on number four. So this is four methyl. Put them all together. My class ended at 10.40, so I've been watching since then. Hope you don't mind. Ben, you're more than welcome to always come and watch my lessons. Always. So this is four methyl, four methyl, pent to in right next one we've already seen this one before so i'm hoping that you guys are going to get this one if you want to include your letter you're more than welcome to do so dom i'm expecting to see a letter here for you dude yeah so four in a row so it's a butte it contains a double bond i'm going to number it it makes no difference which direction i go from because it'll still be between two and three so it makes no difference so this is a butte to in now, for just for Ben's, no, sorry, just for uh, Dom's uh, thing, the H's, um, the H's, no, they're on opposite sides, Dom. Yeah, the H's are on opposites. The reason why the H's are so handy is because the H's have an atomic number of one. And if I've got two ones, you can't get any lower. So they're always going to be the light chains. So they're on opposite sides. So that's actually E in brackets. Butte to in, but you don't need the e guys to get that mark. Yeah. Next, uh, just to let you know, Don, this one does not show geometrical isomerism. It doesn't show e or z. I'm happy to explain it to you. So let's have a look at this one. This one was a horrible one. Yeah. Longest chain is there, and this one really required you to number it in order to be able to identify the actual number because you could. They haven't drawn it out for us, so it's based on six. Now, we always want to make the E in as low as possible. So two and three, the numbering is correct in that direction. So this is based on a hex. So I was right in there. Based on a hex. And it is an E in with number two. This is hex two E in. The next thing is it has two branches and they're the same. So it's a dimethyl. This is dimethyl. Now we need to number them. It's on a two and five. Two, five. Put them together. Two, five. Dimethyl. Dimethyl hex two in it doesn't show it doesn't require a letter it doesn't need it uh mr duncan why do we need to distinguish geometrical isomer isomers because they're different dom because they, because they exist that's uh isn't it called stereo isomerism stereo oh laura oh no oh she's done it this is not my fault guys so in isomerism isomerism there are two main categories the two s's these s's you never ever write down ever lara because the problem is it's always going to be wrong you have a uh, structural isomerism structural isomerism and stereo isomerism now these are always wrong however you will be asked to define them now the reason why they're always wrong to actually quote is because structural is then split into three position position isomerism functional isomerism and uh, branch stroke chain isomerism branch chain now stereo is split into two as well geometrical geometrical which is ez geometrical and optical now just to let you know this is where i didn't uh geometrical you get a letter of ez and in optical, you get a letter of uh, R and S, or sometimes DNL, depending on your specification. <laughs> the DNL stands for retro and sinister, or dextro and levo. Uh, don't ask me what E and Z stands for. Um, it stands for uh, as um. Oh, I can't remember what E and Z stands for. R and S, though. I, th I think DNL is actually at Excel, so I should probably put DNL there. But don't get me wrong, you never actually quote those in a molecule name. 
So, uh, I know, it's horrible. Just ignore it. Ignore it. Uh, okay, nice and easy one. It's nice to get them the easy ones every now and again. You know, I've always got to make this, you know, a success story. So I've got four in a row. So it's based on a butte. There's no ean, so it's an ain. I've got two methyl branches on carbon number two. So it's a 2 2 dimethyl. Put them together. So this is 2, comma 2 dimethyl butane. That's nice. I always like the easy ones, they make me feel better. Right, this one's a trap. Yeah, it's a trap because there's your longest chain. Yeah, so it is based on five. It's based on a pent. I wonder how many people fell for it. And there's no double bond, so it's an aim. And the branch is on number three. It makes no difference which way I count from because it'll still be on number three. So this is a three methyl. Did anybody fall for the trap and think it was actually an ethyl branch? So this becomes three methyl, three methyl pentane. Next, <clears throat> I gave you an ine. I gave you an ine. <clears throat> I did it. There you go, Dom. I'll make you feel better. I gave you an ine. Isn't that cool? Right. It's the most important group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's based on the hept, and it's hept. And it's an I. Now, here's the problem is we need to make sure we number it. That's between three and four. I don't know why I did that. That way is between three and four. In the other direction, that would be between four and five. So we're going in that direction. So three and four. So this is hept three ine. It's nice to do families. Hi, yes. I tried doing this and nearly gave up. Oh, Dom, don't give up. It'll get better, I promise. Yeah, okay, next one now. You guys, this is where a build ladder is so important. As they gain complexity, build ladders become more and more important. After a while, you just start seeing it. I still always say to my kids, though, you must do the build ladder in your exam. It's very easy to get really cocky with naming. So it's based on a butte. Yeah, it's based on a butte. No double bond, so it's an A, and that's nice. I've got a methyl and a bromo. Now, they're both, I'm going to number it from this direction to make it as low as possible. Yeah. So this is a 2-methyl, it's a 2-methyl and a 2-bromo, but now we have to name them alphabetically, and the bromo comes first. So this becomes 2, no comma, it's a dash, 2, comma, bromo, comma, 2-methyl, dash, methyl, yeah, butane, there's your answer, tick it if you got it. Yeah, next, oh, back to a slightly easier again. I love how my laptop doesn't respond to me sometimes. It's based on a pent. I could have done this if I'd liked, makes no difference. Yeah, based on a pent, but I'm gonna number it from this direction to make the E in as low as possible. So this is based on a pent, and it is a two E. Yeah, you just do it bit by bit. Then you've got a branch on number four, so that's a four methyl. Put them all together and you're done. Four, I bet you guys are starting to realize that you're picking up the pace on the naming. Yeah, I, you've done enough now that you'll start to find yourself speeding up. Yeah, and things become start to become fixed in your mind, which is really good. Right next, a skeletal again, that's nice. Just show the carbons, it's always nice to do that. I actually, in my exam, I do that. I translate it out. Uh, is this one Z? Oh, yes, it is a Z, Libby. It's a Z because the H's are on the same, on the same side. If you ever see H's on an E on either side of the double bond, it immediately gives you your uh, your value, there's no EZ on heptine because, yeah, there isn't another group. So that's a Z, it is Libby, well done. Really impressed young lady, great job. So this one, I can do, this is my longest chain. Why won't it just, I could do, this is my longest chain. I could do this, I could do, this is my longest chain. Yeah, I could do, I could do, this is my longest chain. Yeah, it makes no difference which way around I go on this. It's one of the lovely things about these things. As long as you, if you do it properly, it won't make any difference. The name will still come out the same. So I'm just going to use the straight one to make it easy for myself. It's, I love this. It's just slightly behind me, isn't it? So this is based on a pent. There's no double bonds, so it's an aim. Keeps it easy. Is it not only based on the arrangements of hydrogens, right? No, it's based on, so that's why I was showing you the EZ with the Iodofluorochloribromo ethene. Uh, don't worry about it, Dom. I'm happy to do that more with you next week when we get into school. We'll even build some. Yeah, so we've got three branches. Now, the three branches we need to number. Mr. Duncan, what's the ranking for the groups? 
Oh, I'll send you the link to the website helping. You don't really need it, even at A-level. You only need to know that the carb carboxylic acid group is the most important group out of all of them. It is ranked number one. It is the emperor of the organics. The nitro is dead last. Poor nitro family. Oh, I'm happy to give you a helping. I'll send you the link to the website that has it. I'll do that for you. Uh, go to functional group priorities on Wikipedia. Yeah, that'll probably do it, Libby. Yeah, you're right. The next thing is a trimethyl. So this is a trimethyl. The next thing is it's on, I'm gonna count from this direction. Because if I count from this direction, it'll give me a two, two, four. If I count from the other direction, if I count from the other direction, it'll give me a two, four, four. So I'm gonna go for the smallest, which is that one. So that now becomes two, two, four. Yeah, and then just put it all together. So this is a two, two, four, trimethyl pentane. I bet you guys are starting to get real confidence with this and starting to feel like you're getting it. Yeah, there's a table, yeah. Oh God, this is really pushing you guys. This is actually beyond AS level, although I do teach it at AS. So it's six in a cycle, yeah. So it's based on cyclohexane. Yeah, there's no double bonds, so it's an ane. Right, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six methyls, because they're all single carbons. Yeah, so this is a hexamethyl. You wouldn't say a hexamethyl, because it doesn't roll very well. And this is going to be six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Isn't that hilarious? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, hexa, methyl, cyclo, oh my goodness, hexane, otherwise known as Steve. <laughs> it's not really, I'm just winding you guys up, but it does make me chuckle. <laughs> Common names, lol. Next. Oh, I gave you a structural isomer. So guys, really nice to do this. So these two here are structural isomers. Just go to my structural isomerism up here. Yeah. And structural isomerism. See if we can zoom right out so I can track it down there. So structural isomerism has these three families. And in this case, it's a position isomer. Yeah. It's a position isomer because it's exactly the same. The only thing we've done is change the positions of the methyl groups. So this, these two is if, if you compare these two. Yeah, these are position isomers. It's nice to do that. Position isomers. And that's because the only thing that's changed is a number. It is still a cyclohexane. Yeah, still cyclohexane. No change in length of the longest chain. But now all I've done is I've moved the methyls. I've still got six of them. So it's still a hexamethyl. But now the numbers change. I'm going to number it one, two, three, four, five, six. Makes no difference as long as I start like on one end of it. I could have gone that way if you'd preferred, or that way makes no difference. So this becomes one, one, two, two, three, three, hexamethyl cyclohexane. Isn't this cool? I love this game. There we go. Next. Ah, oh, when Ian's made an appearance. So I've got five in a row, five in a circle. It's based on cyclopent, but this time I have an ean. Now, in this case, the ean is more important than the branch, and I must count over it, which means the numbers must start here. Yeah, so this is going to be cyclopent one ean and a three methyl. So put it all together three methyl. 3-methyl, cyclo, pent, 1-e. Next. Okay, so oh, I like it. I like these now. Still got five in a row. Still based on cyclo, cyclo pent. No all single bonds. So it's still a pentane. That makes it easier. Wait, Mr. Duncan, you said carboxylic acids come first. But I thought cations? What? Cations? I don't know why you're saying cations. It has nothing to do with organic. Oh, no, 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 Libby. They're ranked one. No, no, no. Ranked one in the organic family. 
ranked one in the carboxyl uh, in in the organic families. I'll show you an example if you like, Liddy. Yeah, right. So we've got an ethyl branch because there's two carbons and a one carbon. So I've got an ethyl and a methyl. Now I need to choose the numbers. Now here's the great thing: they rank the same because they're both alkyls. What that means is I can actually pick any way, but there actually there is an answer, and the ethyl goes alphabetically, so I make that the lowest. The ethyl becomes one, and the methyl becomes three. Put it together alphabetically again: one ethyl, three methyl, three methyl cyclopentane. Amazing. Next, ah, uh, look at this: <clears throat> no branches but attachments. So we've got three in a row, three in a, three in a circle, sorry. Three in a circle, so it's still cyclo, and it's a three, so it's a prop. Is it an ane or an ene? Well, they're all single bonds, so it's based on cyclopropane. Now, in this case, I've got two bromos. So this is a, I've got a dibromo, and I have a single chloro. Right, now I need, these have got the same rankings, but alphabetically bromines first and there's also multiple of them so one two three is your one so that's going to be a one one two yeah there you go put it all together so alphabetical remember the die is ignored one one di brum there's my letter i chose for the alphabetical two chloro cyclo propane Italian just keeps slipping in. Don't know why. Next. Oh, so this one's got branches and halos. Ooh. And an ene. Holy mackerel. This is this is the whole shebang, guys. This is this is the full smash. So number one, it's five in a row and it's in a circle. So cyclone. And it's a pent. Ah, but it has an ene. Now, three families. Halo, ene, branch. Ene ranked topest. Topist ranks highest, so we need to make that as small as possible. Then bromo, then this. So this ranks one, rank one. This rank two, and this ranks three. Basically, the only thing that is less ranking than an alkyl branch is a nitro group. Just so you know, um, I believe that's correct. Oh, am I questioning my rankings? Um. I'm not. I'm not. Oh no! No! How Ping's gonna beat me? No! I know that the Ian's top, so we're gonna make that one. Yeah, and then if we're gonna make these lower, so I'm gonna make that two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I wanna make the halos ranked two lower. So it's a pent one Ian. Then I have a two bromo, gonna do that alphabetical. Yeah, and a three chloro. And then a 5,5 five, five dimethyl. You can see that the more things you get, the more it's required to build use a build ladder. Yeah, this is your build ladder. Final name, put them together alphabetically. B C M. So I've got two bromo, two bromo, three chloro, five five dimethyl. Holy mackerel. Cyclo, cyclo, I'm losing it. Run out of space. Cyclo, pent, two, one, one, in. Oh my goodness gracious. Did anybody get it? Holy mackerel. That's insane. That, by the way, that's kind of beyond AS, really. Could it be one bromo? If you did that, then, if you did one bromo, if you did that, you would have counted in the other direction. Yeah, if you did that, let's get rid of all of this. Yeah, if you did that, you would have counted that as one like that. Yeah, it would have been a one bromo, five chloro, three, three dial methyl, pen one in. Yeah, start and start double bond there. I got it. Well done, Lara. Um, you wouldn't do it because you're ranking the methyls above the chloro. That's why you wouldn't. But I'm going to give it to you. You can have it. Heck yes. If you did that, you can have it, Libby. I don't care. That's so far. 
That's so, that I've pushed you guys so far. That's a bit insane. If you've done that, you can have it. <laughs> Next. Okay, God, making it easy again. Thank goodness for that. That one was a bit intense. Yeah, there we go. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is based on a hex. It has a double bond between carbons one and two. So that's a hex one -ene. Now I have a bromo and a chloro both on number one. So I have a one bromo and a one chloro. Name them alphabetically. The B goes first. So one bromo, one chloro. I forgot my dash. One chloro, hex one in. And if you're curious, if you're really interested, yeah, if you want to go full AES unit two, if you're interested, these carbons here have got different groups on it. Yeah, and an invisible H. So what that means is the H has an atomic number of one. This carbon here has an atomic number of six. This is light. This is light. This is heavy. On this side, I've got bromine at 35 and chlorine at 17. This one's light, this one's heavy. The heavies are on the same side of the double, so that is, in fact, a Z, if you're really wanting to be picky. But don't worry if you didn't put it. That's a bit insane. Next, five in a circle. My laptop's still continuing to ignore me. So this is based on cyclopent. No double bonds, so on an ain. Now I have a branch, which is a one methyl. Great thing is we're just going to number it from the top because both groups are attached to the top. And I have a one ol, and that's a suffix. First time we've seen a suffix appear here, folks. Now we can attach those all on. This bit attaches to the end. This bit is a prefix. Final answer, one methyl, one methyl, cyclo, pent, Cyclo pentan one ol. That was hard. Who got it? That was hard, folks. That was really hard. Next. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cyclo cyclo oct one in. We're done. Cyclo oct one in. Me. Well done, Libby. Right. Oh, oops. I put methan one meth cyclopet. Yeah, that's 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 mental. Uh, it's just another attachment. It's just another attachment, Lara. I kind of guessed. Lol. <laughs> Next, three in a cycle. Laptop still ignoring me. Three in a circle. So it's based on a cycloprope. The next thing is it does have an ene group. Yeah, it does have an ene. What that means is. I'm going to number it in this direction. Makes no difference in this case. Cyclopropyl one ene, and I have tetrachloro. Tetrachloro. So I now have a chlorine on number one, two, and then three, three. So this is one, two, three, three. Tetrachloro. Then put it all together. One, two, three, three. Tetra, which means four. Tetra. Chloro cyclo tetrachloro cyclotrope one in. Isn't that crazy how long that name is for such a simple picture? Cool that. Uh, next. Okay. So this one's nice and easy. Two in a row. Have I gone have I overshot the lesson? Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is one, one, two, two, tetra, fluoro, ethene. Check it if you got it. Next one, four in a row, two branches. This is two, three, dimethyl, I'm building them in my head, dimethyl, but, two, no, it's not, yes it is, sorry, it actually is. Yeah, longest chain. Yeah, two, three, dimethyl, but two, e, no e or z. The last one, last one, six in a row. Six in a row. It's based on cyclo. Oh, 
come on laptop cyclohex now the problem is it's now a triene which means an a goes back in cyclo let's count from this direction got to count over a double doesn't really matter cyclohexa one three five triene and we're done can we just put benzene no you can't Lara. it's not what i've taught you guys that brings you to the end of the lesson it was 22 marks add it up add it to the sheet please that would be amazing have a go guys add them on i will leave you guys be now i'm so sorry that was a really long lesson it's because i've been teaching you whilst i'm doing it i'm really sorry i overshot uh, i've been going one hour dead i will leave you guys be uh, guys you have a homework you have to make your own naming sheet. You have to be able to provide the answers. You can either draw it yourself or find pictures on the internet. Either one, that is your homework. Guys, have a great rest of your day. See you soon.